Hi, my name is Emma, and in today's lesson, we are going to look at a common confusing mistake students make. So we're looking at the words remember, to, do something, remember doing something, so those ones are commonly confused, and forget to do something versus forget doing something. Okay, so we're looking at gerunds versus infinitives of forget and remember. So to start with, we're going to look at remember. So I have here um, the formula for remember in the infinitive. So remember, to, and verb. So we have the first verb. This is, we use the, this when we have two verbs. Our first verb is remember. I remember. Our second verb is to, and you can put any second verb there. I remember, uh, I remembered to buy milk. I remembered to go see the movie. Okay, now this is uh, contrasted with remember verbing. So this is the gerund form. We have our first verb, remember, and our second verb, which ends in ing. So these are the two things we're going to be looking at today. So what does remember to verb mean? Okay, so let me give you an example. Remember to visit the Eiffel Tower. Okay, what, what does this mean exactly? Well, it means, uh, well, first of all, this is a form of advice. If you tell someone, remember to do something, you're giving them advice or you're, you're telling them they have to do something. Now, anytime we look at remember to verb, a useful thing to do is ask this question. What do I need to do? Okay, so the first thing is, remember what you need to do. The second step is, do it. So what do I need to do? I need to remember to visit the Eiffel Tower. So the first step is, okay, I can't remember, I'm in France, what, what am I supposed to be doing? Ah, yes, I remember. I need to visit the Eiffel Tower. Second step, do it. So I visit the Eiffel Tower, okay? Uh, our second sentence, I remembered to buy the milk. So again, we have our first verb here, remembered. We have to buy the milk. So what does this sentence mean? Well, the first thing I should do is I should ask myself, what do I need to do? What am I supposed to be remembering? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what do I need to do? I remember buy the milk. So the first thing I do is I need to remember to buy the milk. The second thing I need to do is actually buy the milk. So it's two steps. Okay, so now let's check out remember verbing. Okay, so again, first verb, remember, second verb, ing. So our first sentence, I remember visiting the Eiffel Tower. Now it's very similar to remember to visit the Eiffel Tower. What's the difference? Or I, I could even say here, I remember to visit the Eiffel Tower. What is the difference between these two sentences? Well, when we have ing at the end of the second verb, what you're saying is that first, you visited the Eiffel Tower. That was your first step. And then after you visited it, you remembered visiting it. So you, you, in your mind, you see the Eiffel Tower, you can smell the smells around it. Um, you can remember what you felt, uh, what you heard. So it's really about your senses, um, what you see in your mind. That's this one. So let's look at the second one. I remembered buying the milk. So again, this is a memory. The first thing you did was you bought the milk. And now you're remembering that moment in your head. It must have been something important if you have some sort of memory with buying the milk. Uh, maybe something funny happened when you bought the milk. Or maybe uh, you met your future wife or husband while you bought the milk. Um, but you're, you can see it in your mind. You can remember that moment with your senses. So hearing, smell, um, taste, maybe uh, a touch. So this is really about your senses and seeing something in your mind. Whereas this, you, you don't get that feeling. What it's saying is you're remembering what you need to do, 
okay? Uh, your parents might say, remember to do your homework. Remember to feed the cat. Oh, I remember, I remembered to feed the cat. So this means, what do I need to do? First step, second step, do it. Whereas here, it's the opposite. You do something and then you remember how you felt when you did it. You see the, the scene in your mind. Okay, so now let's look at uh, forget to do something versus forget doing something. Okay, so we have forget to verb and forget verbing. So this is what we would call the infinitive. We have the first verb, which is forget, the second verb, and we have the preposition to between them. Whereas in the case of the gerund, we have forget, which is our first verb, so V1. We have our second verb. There's no to, it's just ing. So just like what we said with the remember. Um, so what is the difference between forget to verb and forget verbing? Well, let me give you an example. I forgot to eat the cake. So what does this mean? Um, you'll notice the angry face. It means I wanted cake. The first step, I forgot. I forgot there was cake, which means I didn't eat any cake. So you forget is the first action. The second thing is there is, there is no action after that because you forgot to do the action. Okay. Um, our second example, Insuk forgot to water the plants. Now they're dead. So again, we have another sad face because somebody forgot to do something. Um, the plants were thirsty, but there was no water. Okay, so again, first thing is forget. Second part, nothing happens because you, you couldn't remember to do what you needed to do. Okay, now compare that to forget verbing. I forgot eating the cake. So notice, uh, forgot, eat, ing. This actually, I'm happy. I did eat the cake. I, I don't remember if it tasted good or not. Um, I don't remember like when I ate it. Maybe um, in the middle of the night, I, I slept walk where I walked around, uh, I was still asleep, maybe I ate it then. And so I don't remember. Uh, maybe somebody was really tired. They came home from work. They were so sleepy. They ate the cake. They couldn't remember doing it. Um, but at the same time, they know they ate the cake, so they're probably happy. Our second example, Insuk forgot watering the plants. This means they're still alive. So she did water the plants, it's just she forgot that she watered the plants. Okay, so we have a smiley face here. So in this case, forget verbing. The first action, you do something. Okay, you water the plants. Uh, you go to the park. You visit the Eiffel Tower. The second part is you forget doing it though. So this isn't always something happy. Um, maybe you got married and you forgot. <laughs> I forgot getting married. You went to Las Vegas. You, you partied too hard. You forgot getting married and now you're in trouble. Um, so it's not always a happy face like I've shown here. Uh, but I think that uh, forgetting what you did is usually a happier thing than um, these examples, where when you forget to do something, something bad happens usually as a result. Um, I forgot to study for my exam. What's the consequence? I failed my exam. Now if, on the other hand, I forgot studying for my exam, I did study, maybe I did really well on the exam, and I don't remember all that stress um, you know, the long hours at the library. So, you know, this isn't too bad. So now let's do a quiz to look at remember to, um, or re sorry, remember in the infinitive, forget in the infinitive, and the gerunds of, of these verb forms. Okay, so let's do this together. The first sentence, I remember Aya at the party, she was talking to Sol. So I want to use the verb see. Do you think it's I remember seeing with an ing? Aya at the party? 
Or do you think, I remember to see Aya at the party? Which one do you think it is? If you said, I remember seeing with ing, you are correct. Okay? So this has to do with a memory. I remember your senses. In your mind, I, or in my mind, I can picture Aya. I remember what she was doing. I remember seeing Aya at the party. Okay, question number two. Remember your grandmother, your grandma tomorrow? It's her birthday. So do you think this is remember to call your grandma tomorrow? It's her birthday. Or remember calling your grandma tomorrow? It's her birthday. What do you think? Well, if you said remember to call your grandma tomorrow, you're correct. So again, you need the two. And what does this mean? It means the first thing you have to do is tomorrow, first thing you need to think is uh, you need to remember to call, okay? Um, so remember is the first step. Second step is to call. Number three, don't forget, you will need it for skiing. So the verb is to pack or packing. Don't forget to pack, uh, to pack what, your sweater? Sorry, I didn't complete the sentence. Um, so we'll just say, don't forget, pack your sweater, you will need it for skiing. Do you think it's don't forget to pack your sweater or don't forget packing your sweater? If you said, don't forget to pack your sweater, you are correct. Finally, number four, Adana will never forget Jaws. She's been afraid to swim ever since. Poor Adana. So Adana will never forget watching Jaws or to watch Jaws. What do you think it is? If you said Adana will never forget watching Jaws, she's been afraid to swim ever since, you're correct. So she'll never forget the memory, how she felt. Um, you know, how, think about senses. So that's what we're talking about here. Okay? So I want to invite you to come visit our website at www.ingvid.com. Here you will find a quiz where you can really practice uh, the differences between all of the words we learned today. So until next time, take care.